that we help existing nonprofits reach their goals. Well, so how are you trying to help? So yeah, with, I'm with InsideOutreach.org. I'm the founder with my wife. And what we like to do is to come to see the community leaders, what they're doing, and actually talk to them and try to find out what the needs are. Because as you know, social media, there's a lot of disinformation. If you don't hear from your own ears and your two eyes don't see it, it's going to be hard to figure out how to mobilize the right people without wasting time. And so as I'm finding out, we're kind of moving to that phase two. Like everyone's got water, everyone's got clothes, everyone's got food. Right, FEMA stepping in with you know, some money and the community really is what I'm seeing come together and really help the community. So what I'm seeing now, I'm agreeing that I've been up here talking to a lot of uncles and aunties and me being up here is hard to breathe and I'm only here for like five minutes or an hour and I'm already feeling in the back of my throat. And so the message that needs to go out is like, hey, what's the next phase for the people out here that yeah, they didn't lose everything, but they're still, they lost, they're, they're breathing the stuff that's coming up here, right? And so I, what I've heard personally is uh, a sister down the street says that her kakuna passed out because he couldn't breathe, right? And so people are getting sick up here. So we just need the, uh, our leadership to say, hey, this is how you can get help. Here's how you get the nimbalizers. Uh, if you need air purifiers, we're gonna provide that for you. Because right now, people like Blake and Zane are like, these are just guys, photographer, working, whatever, and all of a sudden they're community leaders trying to go out there and help the people. And so for what, what we try to do is find those community leaders, find the nonprofits that are already doing an excellent job. Hey, what do you need help in? And then we provide help in those areas where there's money, where there's storytelling, where there's building in the West Side, which we're gonna do for them so they can be a little bit organized with website and one place to kind of say, hey, here's where you go to get information. Or if it's just hands, you know, we got a team setting up in Kula um, because they need help over there cutting down trees and stuff like that. Manpower. Manpower, right. We do it all. That we help existing nonprofits reach their goals.